It's one of the biggest um, bittersweet decisions I've ever made, and it's going to be difficult. Um, I love this business. I love my way of life. I love my ranch family. Uh, we've. I'm proud to say that I would put this group of people together uh, as the best in the business. And uh, so, so that part of it's tough. But um, as you know, I, I have a museum in Arkansas that I don't get to see very much and I don't feel like I'm doing my job there. And I have some things on the education front I want to do. And I've been trying to balance all the balls and I, I've got too many balls. So, I, you know, I feel like um, the horses we have on the ground today are the best I've ever raised. I don't have any question about it. Uh, and it's from those, those basic genetics back in 83. I had about six mares that well, everything comes from. So what was it about those mares that stood out? Like Boone San Sally and... Uh, you know, it's really interesting, and I, I guess the thing that has amazed me is just the power of the genetics in that bloodline. And I've gone back and tried to analyze it. You know, she's all, all the babies, all the studs are incredibly quick. And that comes from uh, double bred hula sand back in the old uh, racehorse genetics, uh, a son of Leo San, who also produced racehorses. Uh, quarter horse race mm -hmm, horses. Quarter race horses. Uh, Stylish Rosie also had um, um, racing blood, thoroughbred racing blood in her. So some of those early mares had the speed that I think is so critical for today. Um, the cattle have gotten so much faster. Uh, and and um, I, I was able to learn a lot about confirmation early on. And the one thing I never did is if a horse crippled, it never went to the broodmare van. And they had to have good bone and good feet. And they had to stay sound or they didn't get bred on this ranch. And I think the years of, of following those policies is why our horses, uh, we have such little trouble with injections, with uh, crippling, all of those things that so many people have. And that came from old Sally. She had great bone, incredible speed, and almost perfect conformation. Um, one of the things that I, I love about them is, is the length of their neck and the way they balance. They can just move that front end so freely. 83 was when you really got into the breeding. Mm -hmm. What would you say has changed in terms of um, the traits people are looking for and mm -hmm. what's needed in a horse to do its job successfully now? Well, I'd like to say I was brilliant in my decision on Boone San Sally, but the truth is I was just plain lucky because I learned everything from her. Uh, I had no idea. I mean, I, I knew I'd never seen a faster horse, and I knew I'd never seen a more animated horse on a cow. Uh, and she was, you know, you, you, you had to two-hand her to get her around in a circle. I mean, she was pretty fiery. Um, but I think it's, it's that intensity that has allowed the, the bloodline to carry on so well. Uh, and the soundness, the bone. So what's been the challenge as a breeder then mm -hmm. to keep up with the, yeah. the changes in what people are looking for? You know, I did uh, what most people do, breed to the popular stallions for many years. And what I learned is that you never get consistency by going with the flavor of the month. And what you really have to have to have consistently good and great horses is a consistent confirmation, a consistent mind, and consistent cow and intelligence. And, and, and when I was able, just by happenstance, Boone San Kitty, Rockin' W's mother, Boone San Sally's daughter that was horse of the year and won everything, um, she happened to produce uh, two great sons, uh, one Rock and W who won the Futurity with catch rider Tony, Tony Piggott on the, on the board, the first time that's ever happened. 
and then uh, uh, the Boone, uh, her peptal Boone small son. So, and then of course Boone San is her full brother. So by accident, I've ended up with the three major cutting horse bloodlines oh. in my stallions, but with the bottom side consistent to Boone San Kitty and Boone San Sally. And I think that that is really what is special about what's going on today. Um, we now are at a strong level. We, we, we match maternal to maternal on our pedigrees and the speed is maintained. They're just incredibly fast and the intelligence and the cow and the soundness. Uh, so I'm embarrassed to say, I mean, I've always known every baby in the pasture. I love studying the babies and we do a lot of that actually, uh, watching them, how they move, you know, the, the pecking order, so mm -hmm. to speak. Um, and uh, I'm embarrassed to say that at this point, I can't tell my babies apart because <laughs> they all look just alike. But I, but that's a good thing. 